Welcome to another edition of the Dream House by Digital School Question and Answer Section. Before we go into the question that has been bothering some of our followers, I will be happy and most grateful if you could like this video. You could subscribe first of all to our channel, like the video, leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up. You can also follow us. We are on Facebook, Dream House by Digesters. We are active also on Twitter, same name, and of course we are also on Instagram. Our website, DreamHouseDigesters.com, is also active. Go there and read some of our latest articles. Right. So let's go back and some of the questions that I've had, if you've gotten from some of our people who have been trying to know how by digesters are helping them to solve their black water and wastewater issues. The first question that somebody wanted to know whether they can flush a toilet paper into the toilet when they are using a by digester. Yes, you can do that. There's no two ways about that. The, the, the answer is simple. A toilet paper or a toilet tissue is biodegradable. So as part of the human solid waste, it can also be treated. The only problem with using a bad digester is when people put in inorganic materials like rubber, like baby's di diapers or pampers or anything that cannot easily be biodegraded. That's why we always have a, an easy to use instruction manual that we add or we give out to all those who do install bad digesters. These are the simple steps that you should follow. Don't go and use hard detergents like bleach, like parasol, and stuff in the digester. No, just use a simple soapy water and then you are good to go. And that's one good thing about by digester because the time will come when the digester is open for servicing, all you want to see is that the fecal matter has biodegraded nicely and has become manure that can easily be disposed of in the environment right there at the backyard of your house. That's why we always ask that people should not put anything that cannot easily biodegrade into the digester. Another question is that somebody wanted to know is can the kitchen and bathroom wastewater be added to a biodigester? What we advise is no. In rare cases, we will add the kitchen and bathroom wastewater into a digester. That's when we realize that after doing the test, the soil type is very, very, very good. It's sandy and it can absorb a lot of water. But in most cases, what we do is to advise you to get a simple soak away for your kitchen and bathroom wastewater. The simple reason is that those waters cannot be regulated. So if you are having somebody in the house and they mistakenly forget and they leave the tap on in the bathroom or in the kitchen, you don't want all those water passing through the bio digester. That's why we always ask that you use the, the biodigester for toilet or flush units because those waters can easily be water from a, a flush unit or WC can easily be regulated and then the digester will have its peace of mind and self correct itself when it has got all this water coming through but then if it's, it, it becomes a sex in terms of the number of people who are using it then there's a problem so usually we don't advise you to add kitchen and bathroom wastewater to your biodigester when it's being constructed Another question is also, that's the third question for this edition of the Biodigester School is, can biodigesters be used for public and community toilets? Yes, they can be used for public and community toilets. The key difference here is that each number of users of a, of a particular facility and the kind of digesters that you must give them. That's why one of the few questions, the first questions we ask you when you say you are interested in having a biodigester installed is to ask the number of users of the facility. Not necessarily the immediate users, but the average users in the long term, so that when you know you are constructing a biodigester, then you know the type to go for. For us at Dream House Biodigester, we have the standard family size, which we usually do them for three, four, five bedroom houses. We have the large family size. We do those ones for, for, for probably eight, seven bedroom houses. And anybody who has got an outer house, a boys' quarters where workers will be staying there. And then of course we have the public ones that we give to schools and hospitals and churches as well. So your digester can be used for public toilet. It can be used for school. It can also be used 
depending on how many people are in the community. And in fact, for us at Dreamhouse Digesters, we have done a lot of digesters for various places, uh, which we we can we can easily attest to. So a digester can be used for the, for 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 all situation, all scenario. The key part is that you don't have to use the manhole anymore when you do get a digester. Thanks so much for being with us on another edition of the Dreamhouse by Digester School. My name is Jerry Edu Asare. Follow us on this YouTube channel. Subscribe to our page Dreamhouse by Digesters. You can also like our, our Facebook page. We are, we are very active there on Dreamhouse by Digesters. Our website is also active, dreamhousebydigesters.com. And then leave a comment. You can also follow us anytime. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.